ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tony Elwood. I'm the director of the gallery. I'm feeling very fortunate to be able to say I am the director of the gallery. It's a very proud moment for us this evening to open such an ambitious program. I'd also like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which this event is taking place. But before proceeding, I would like to say also how sad we were to hear of the passing of Arthur Pam Bacon Jr. this week. He was a very respected senior member and ceremonial leader from Aracoon, and his ceremonial sculpture, Flying Fox Story Place, of 2002 features in this exhibition and we all at the gallery express uh, our condolences to his family and the community at this great loss. As you've just heard, Rick Wilkinson and the team at Santos are incredibly passionate about their partnership with the gallery. In fact, we feel that we have to keep impressing them and it's exhausting us to do this every summer but we're going to keep doing it. Um, we've got at least three more years to go with Santos so it's going to be an exciting ride, I think. And this show, in a way, is, uh, encapsulates that level of ambition that we all feel we, we want to articulate. There's 12 interactive artist projects for children and families. There's the big summer festival on in January. There's a regional tour. There are three major film programs. There's innovative public programs, including a symposium on the second last weekend of the exhibition. There's our new iPhone app and interactive labels. There's a major blog site, and there's two important publications, including the gallery's first publication on uh, contemporary art for children, and one of the few out there in the market worldwide. So the entire building is covered with, uh, with art from the 21st century. That's all three levels, and of course the two floors at the Children's Art Centre. And 80% of the work on display this evening is actually from our own collection. Many of the works not seen before, and some old favourites. Many you'll recognise particularly from the APT. There are also new acquisitions from a truly global community. We are now collecting uh, in a truly international sense. So you'll see work from Africa, the Middle East, Europe, the Americas, Asia, the Pacific, and of course, Australia. There have been major commissions um, put together specifically for this program, including Carsten Holler's slide, which we thought was a great metaphor for what art in the 21st century really represented, which is that inclusiveness and that great beauty and thrill that you get when you see that work. That work, by the way, will not be operational tonight. We thought we'd store it up for tomorrow morning so that you'd all come back. Our relationship with artists, though, is at the core of what we do, and we welcome many of them here tonight, and they'll be here over the weekend giving talks. But we wouldn't be here if we didn't have great supporters, and the greatest of them all has to be Tim Fairfax and Gina Fairfax, who really have initiated uh, the idea of being able to imagine uh, in such an ambitious way what we can do with contemporary art, and we thank them sincerely, along with Wynne Schubert, James C. Suris, Professor John Hay and Barbara Hay, Catherine Middlehauser, Margaret Middlehauser, Simon, uh, Michael Simkabevsky, Pat Corrigan, and John Calder, all who have gifted or lent major works to this exhibition. And again, may I acknowledge the Tim Fairfax Family Foundation for, for sponsoring the children's programs. I would like to sincerely thank an incredible staff here at the Queensland Art Gallery, led by an incredible executive management team, Andrew Clark, Sahania Rafael, and Celestine Doyle. It's the staff dedication and professionalism that makes us what we are. So all of the gallery spaces are open tonight. Food and beverage will be um, retained in this area on level one, and we hope you'll enjoy our hospitality all evening. And now, finally, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the Premier of Queensland, the Minister for the Arts, the Honourable Anna Bly, who has been a great advocate throughout the entire year, who goes well beyond the call of duty to support us and to welcome our guests. So I hope you'll also please make her welcome. Thank you. <laughs> 